What's up guys? I had to leave a little bit early today, so I am making this video to help you guys stay up to date on today's lesson. Um, so good news, these notes that you're gluing in right now, or already glued in, are the very last notes of the school year. So congratulations, this is the last information you are going to learn. And then after this, you guys are just going to be doing some projects and reviewing for finals. So you've almost made it to the end of sixth grade. So here's the plan for this week. Today, we're going to go over the notes and then you guys are going to take a survey about, it's called a career interest survey. So you're going to fill out some things you're interested in and then you're going to research some careers that match your interests. And then tomorrow, you are going to pick one of those careers to base your project off of. So I'll go into more detail about the project tomorrow, but basically this project is going to last for the rest of the week. Um, it's going to be totally online, so make sure you bring your Chromebook every day. Make sure it's charged or you bring a charger with you. Um, so yeah, I'll go into more detail on that tomorrow. But right now, let's just start by looking at the notes. So one of the things we are going to go over is different levels of education. It says the amount of schooling or education that you complete can affect the salary you have the potential to earn. So in general, the more education you have, the more money you're going to make. Now, of course, there's always exceptions to that, but overall, that's typically how it works. More education equals more money. So, for example, let me just show you this graphic real quick. It says the more you learn, the more you earn. This is average annual salary by degree. This is, it says it's from 2017, so a little bit outdated, but still, still close enough to accurate. So annual salary, that means how much you make in one year. So the lowest level, this would be people that did not finish high school. You can see they are hardly making anything. It's probably hard to even get by with that. The people that get their high school diploma, that means they graduated high school. That's a pretty big jump. They make almost 10 grand more. So that's something. That's a good start. Some people go to college, but they don't finish. So they take some college classes. They just never end up graduating. That counts for something. So you can make a few thousand more if you do some college. Um, there are some people that get an associate's degree, which is usually about two years of college. To be honest, though, this is not super popular. I don't know too many people with an associate's degree. But some jobs require an associate's degree, so people might get that for a certain job. The most common type of degree is a bachelor's degree. That's like when you hear of people you know that go to college for four years, they're probably getting a bachelor's degree. Um, look at how big the jump is from associates, that's two years, to bachelor's, four years. It's like 18000 more dollars per year. So that's a pretty big jump. And then after you get a bachelor's degree, sometimes people go back to school or they just stay in school and keep going and get a master's degree. That usually takes about two years. And that's a pretty big jump too, over 10 grand more. And then it's not on this graphic, but some people keep going after a master's degree and they get a doctorate, which like a PhD is an example of a doctorate. Um, so we'll get into some more details on that later. But as you can see, the more school you go to, the more money you're going to earn. All right, on the notes, the first level of education we're going to fill in is going to be high school. So that counts for something. When you get your high school diploma, when you graduate, that's a good start. That means you passed your classes and... You graduated high school. Um, after high school, not everybody goes to college, of course. Some people want to do jobs that require trade school. So trade school is where you get trained on a certain skill or a trade. 
So like different examples of trades might be if you want to be a car mechanic or you want to be a carpenter or you want to be an electrician or you want to be a cosmetologist. So you want to like do hair or makeup or nails, something like hands on. So you don't necessarily need to go to college for that. You just need to go to a certain trade school where they teach you how to do that specific skill. And there's sometimes good money in those jobs too. Like plumbers, you'd be surprised how much plumbers make. So that's a good option if you're interested in those careers. The next one we're going to fill in is associate's degree. That's what I was telling you about before. It usually takes two years. Not super common but certain jobs require just an associate's degree. The most common type of degree is a bachelor's degree. That usually takes four years. Although somebody asked in my other class, does it take exactly four years or is it just like you have to get a certain number of classes done? It's basically you just have to take a certain number of classes. So some people like work really hard and can finish it in three years or three and a half years. They might take classes over the summer to kind of get ahead. Um, some people, four years isn't enough. They need more time, so they might take five years. So it kind of depends how long it takes you to finish all your classes. Um, and then anything beyond a bachelor's degree, we're just gonna call a professional degree. So, for example, a master's would be a professional degree, doctorate is an example of a professional degree. So if you want any of these, you first have to get a bachelor's. Bachelor's is like step one, and then you go on to the professional. And then, for example, like to be a teacher, you need a bachelor's degree, okay? Minimum of a bachelor's degree. So a lot of teachers just have their bachelor's. But some teachers decide they want to go back to school and get a higher degree. So, for example, I had my bachelor's degree for the first, like, five years that I was a teacher. And then I decided I wanted to get my master's degree so that I could earn more money. So I did a master's program that was totally online. And I did it while I was teaching. So I took my classes online. I did them at night, on the weekends. Um, I did classes over the summer kind of just whenever I had time. So now I have a master's degree, which means I make more money. And then a few teachers want to keep on going and they might get a doctorate. So for example, the seventh grade math teacher, you've probably seen him around. His name is Dr. Taylor. Used to be Mr. Taylor, but now we got to call him Dr. Taylor because he got his doctorate a couple years ago. So to get a doctorate, that doesn't necessarily mean you're a medical doctor. That just means you're like at the top of your field. So like you've done, you've gotten the highest degree in your field. So for example, Dr. Taylor is a doctor of education. You could be a doctor of psychology, doctor of philosophy, doctor of whatever subject you're interested in. So that's like the top, the top of the food chain. So it all depends. Because you make more money that way, but it also is expensive to go to school. So some people are like, nope, I'm good with the bachelors. So a lot of things to think about. All right, so here's an example of the difference in salary. If you have a bachelor's degree, a job that you apply for might pay you this much per year. But if you have a master's degree, that same exact job might pay you that much per year. So this is just an example, but you can see the difference. If you have a master's degree, they're gonna pay you more than if you just had a bachelor's. And by the way, whenever it says salary, that means per year. So that's how much you would earn in one year. This question says, Trayson's considering two different education routes, bachelor's versus master's. Over a period of 10 years, how much more would he earn by having his master's degree? All right, 10 years. Let's do some mental math. How much would he make after 10 years if he had a master's degree? All we'd have to do is add a zero. He would make $584,000. And then if he had a bachelor's degree, 
After 10 years, he would make $428,000. The question is, how much more would he make with the Masters? Looks like $156,000. So that's a lot of money. And a master's degree usually only takes like two years, maybe a little bit more. So for two extra years of school, you're going to make that much more over 10 years. So that's a pretty, pretty good chunk of change. All right, so last thing we need to look at is ways to pay for college. So if you did not know this already, college is very expensive. Um, so it's not like you can just pay for it all right away. A lot of people need some help paying for college. So first thing, pretty obvious, savings. Most people have an account where they are saving money for college. This, if you don't have one, that's something you can start now. You guys still have several years till you are going to think about going to college, so start saving now. Because if you open a savings account, you can earn interest. So the bank will pay you interest on your savings. So you can make a little extra money. Um, another thing, maybe you've heard this word before, is a scholarship. That's something that you apply for. So not everybody gets a scholarship. You kind of have to win it. Like you apply and they read all the applications and decide who's going to get the scholarship. So when you're in high school, you're, you'll learn more about this. Basically, a lot of scholarships are awarded based on academics. So like based on your grades. So if you get good grades, you'll be more likely to get a scholarship. Other scholarships are based on athletics, so if you're really good at a certain sport, you might get a scholarship to go to college and play that sport. And scholarships come in different amounts. Sometimes a scholarship might just be like $1,000. Sometimes it might be like $20,000. Or sometimes you might get a full ride scholarship. Only a very few people get that, but a full ride is like they're going to pay for your whole college. So that's a lot of money. All right, next thing is grants. A grant is an amount that is given. So that's basically where the government gives you money to help you pay for college. These are based on financial need. So like based on how much money your family has. If your family doesn't have enough money to pay for you to go to college, you can apply for a grant, and you don't have to pay it back. Next thing is a work study. This is a pretty good deal. You can earn money to go to school by working for the college. So like when I was in college, some of my friends worked at the gym or worked at like the front desk at the library. So you work, and then they'll help you pay to go to school. Last one, this is a really common one, student loans. That is where you borrow money and then you have to repay it over time. So it's kind of like a credit card because they're going to charge you interest. So the longer it takes you to pay them back, the more interest they're going to charge. All right. Let me show you this career interest survey. Don't take out your Chromebook yet. Just watch as I go over the example. Um, interest assessment. All right, so I am going to post a link, and it's going to take you right to this screen. So basically, you are going to have to answer 30 questions. It's going to give you a random activity. You're going to have to either click strongly dislike, dislike, unsure, like, or strongly like. Some of them are very random, so don't overthink it. Like, for example, first one is, do you like to build kitchen cabinets? Chances are you've probably never built kitchen cabinets in your life. But 
think about like, do you like to build things? Do you like hands-on things? If you might like to build things, click like, because then it might recommend a job for you where you're building things. Number two, develop a new medicine. Pretty sure nobody's developed a new medicine, but think about would you like to work in the field of medicine? Are you interested in that? If not, click no. Writing books or plays, helping people with personal or emotional problems. Manage a department within a large company. That just means like manage, like be in charge of people. So that would be like if you like to be a leader. Um, install software. Just if you like computers, click like. So just kind of do your best. If you really have no idea what it means, just click unsure in the middle. Then you'll click next. So there's going to be three pages of these. I'm just going to click through so I can show you an example. And then when you are done, it's going to show you a big list of careers that match the survey, your answers on the survey. So look over on the left side where it says match. Where it says best, these are like your top matches. I'm going to make it 100 per page so I can see more. Look at all of these best matches. Once it runs out of best matches, it'll give you great matches. So that's also worth checking out. Best, great. Then it goes down to good. I would try and avoid good if you can. Start by looking through the great and the best. So I want you to look through these different careers. Some of them you might have no idea what it even is. So click on the career and you will learn all these different facts about it. There's a little video if you learn best by watching or listening to them talk about it. You can read the description. This kind of tells you what the job is. Um, right here, this is the salary for people that work at this job. So when you first start at a job, you're going to have like the minimum salary. So when you're a brand new employee, they'll start you out at the lowest salary, but the more time you spend at the company, they will give you raises. So by the end, you might be making this much. So for this research, you guys are just going to be looking at the median salary, which you can see it says median right in the middle, because that's usually about the average salary, not the lowest, not the highest, right in the middle. So this job, what job is it? An art therapist. The average art therapist makes about $60,000. And then it tells you people usually have a bachelor's degree. You can see this chart. Oh, okay, this is interesting. It says 58% of people actually have a master's degree. Okay, so people starting the career usually have bachelor's. Maybe they get their master's later on. So there's a lot of data you can look at. This is pretty helpful, what you might do in a day. So if you're not really sure what this job entails, read through the list of things you might do. People in this career know a lot about these topics. People often have these skills. This would be good to look over, these abilities. So there's a ton of good information. Um, so look through, look through several jobs. Click on some that you haven't heard of maybe or some that you're curious about. Um, once you have looked through several jobs, you're going to end up narrowing it down to two careers that you're interested in. And then you're going to fill out a sheet that looks like this. So you're going to fill out this chart, career one and career two. Basically, all of this information you're going to find on the website. And if you can't find it on the website, just go on Google and look it up. You can find it on some other website, I'm sure. So you're going to start with the name of the career, job description. This means, like, what do you do? What do you do? Like, what kind of job is it? It's really, really important that this is in your own words. Do not just copy it from the website. All right? If you're not sure what the job is, look at where it says what you might do in a day. That might help you see things that you do. Um, or just go on Google or go on YouTube and figure it out. You got the whole Internet at your fingertips. 
Um, education needed, that would be like, do you need to go to trade school? Do you need, do you just need a high school diploma? Do you need an associate's, bachelor's, master's? How much school do you need? Median salary, that's where I showed you on the graph, right in the middle. So that would be how much you make in a year. To find your monthly income, how much you make in a month, you're just going to divide that by 12. <clears throat> and you can just use a calculator, that's fine. Earnings over 10 years, that's like what we did on the notes. Just multiply the median salary by 10 or add a zero. And then earnings over 30 years, multiply the median salary by 30. So you're going to fill it out for two different careers. And then tomorrow when you start the project, you're going to pick one of them to use for your project. So this is really important that you get this done by tomorrow so you can start your project. So whatever you don't finish in class is going to be homework. All right, so you guys are going to go to Schoology, click on Career Interest Survey, and then try to pick options that either say best or great. If you don't have that many, you could go down and look at the options that say good, but start off with the best and great options. Um, all right, so that's the plan for today. If you have any questions, you can always come see me tomorrow morning or tomorrow at go time. And I will see y'all tomorrow. Peace.